So let's talk about how to become an intermediate or even advanced surfer. An advanced surfer can create a speed on a wave with ease and complete at least a few basic maneuvers without getting stuck. To become an advanced surfer, you must be able to control speed, but also create it. This ability is known as flow, and we're going to talk about it in this video. So if I want to create speed while surfing on the wave, I need to look for higher spot on the wave and use gravity rules. If I can divide the wave into two zones, I will call the one dead zone and the other the power zone. Everything begins in a power zone, where I take off and get my first boost of speed all the way to the dead zone. At the dead zone, I will try to make a quick bottom turn and regain control of the remaining speed, all the way back to the power zone. This process is known as flow and it is fundamental move that every intermediate or advanced surfer must know. So let's try to break it down. Every time I get to the dead zone, I compress my knees, lifting my weight and my hands forward, and my face is always looking at the next power zone I want to be at. This flow movement repeats itself until the wave will offer me a clean wall to make a turn. If I will decide to make a turn, I will make a bigger bottom turn with more compress and I will release all my energy at the power zone. If you want to practice your flow moves on land, you can do it by practicing on your surf skate. Do this exercise as much as you can until you feel comfortable enough. So let's talk about some common mistakes. This surfer is attempting to generate speed by compressing and releasing. The issue is that he appears to be losing control at any moment because his hand and face are moving in the wrong direction. Remember to always look for the next power zone spot and your hand and body should always move in in the same direction. This surfer is attempting to bottom turn and get straight to the power zone. The issue is that she's compressing herself with her back rather than her knees. Also, her face is not pointing to the wave and to the next power zone, which is why she lost balance and fell off. So to summarize, if I need to create speed, I will use the compress and release system and with that I will have a flow on the wave and I won't get stuck. However, if I need to control speed and to manifest it on the wave, I will make a bigger bottom turn with a bigger compress and hopefully a bigger turn. Feel free to comment below and thanks for watching.